Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have several things for you. Number one, I want to go over my Hermes or Ann Sandals. You're... Oh my God, I can't <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Yota. If you're new here, hello, welcome. And if you're one of my regular subscribers, thank you all so much for coming back. And if you watch me regularly, regularly, and you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Let's get to 5,000 subscribers. I'm having a hard time talking. I have started this video over, I don't even know how many times. <laughs> But subscribe, you guys, because I have a little Chanel something something to give away for my 5,000 subscriber viewer coming up. 5,000 subscriber viewer video coming up. Okay, maybe we just need to start over. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. All right. For today's video, I have several things for you. Number one, I do want to go over the fit of these or and sandals. Remember when I got them maybe, I don't know, a month ago or so? I've already worn both pair several times and I did not send them back. So I'm gonna talk to you about the sizing of these sandals. I also wanna talk about this beauty sitting here that I got just a couple weeks ago, you guys. I carried her all week and I'm obsessed. I said I wasn't a speedy girl but I am a speedy girl. I'm a little tiny speedy girl. I love the 25 so much, and I absolutely have to get that in monogram. And as you can see, in my background, I have a few new, um, a few new pieces of art that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I really thought those were cute for my office. And then my daughter bought me the little lips, and this is something that I painted, just some sunflowers. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of my artwork, uh, you can check it out on Instagram at Art by Panayota, and I list everything in the description box. But I absolutely have to have a speedy 25 in the monogram. You guys, you know that I'm obsessed with picking up a few essential pieces. And what I have here in the background are beautiful, beautiful essential LED are beautiful, beautiful, essential Louis Vuitton pieces, the kind of pieces that I love, the kind of pieces that make my heart sing. Beautiful, classic Louis Vuitton, Azure, Monogram, also Ebene. <laughs> you guys, I need a drink. I need a drink, okay? I gotta get through this video. If you want to see what this video is all about, stick around. <laughs> all right, first of all, I want to say, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I cut my hair. All right, it was really long and really fuzzy. <laughs> and I, I couldn't handle it anymore. Actually, I didn't cut it. Keith cut it. I went in there in his office. I said, do you have some sharp scissors? He's like, yeah. He knows, that, he knows the drill. I sound like T. He cuts my hair, you guys, so he just took the scissors and whacked off about five inches of it, and it feels a lot better, and I'm thinking, maybe I should go a little shorter, but I think right now we'll just leave it like it is. <laughs> so yeah, I have a haircut. All right, you guys, so in this video, I'm not going to do a lot of editing. I'm going to leave my bloopers in. You guys seem to really like my bloopers, and I make a lot of bloopers, <laughs> but I do want to go over my Hermes sandals because... I purchased both of these at the same time, all right? And I had never tried them on before, and I just went for it because they were available on the website, which I think they usually are, but I wear a size eight, seven and a half and eight, and usually a size 38. So these were the two colors that I absolutely really have been wanting forever. I also would love to have a white pair, but I have some that look much like these in white, but I just bit the bullet and bought both pair, okay? So I didn't know really if they were gonna fit, and when I first got them, I tried them on for you guys, and I would say the feedback that I got, I would say it was about 
60% of you or so said, yes, they're perfect. And there were a good bit of you that said, oh, they look too small. Well, I'm so glad that I kept these because I thought about sending one pair back. I'm so glad that I kept the size 38. So in my opinion, I do think these sandals are true to life. Did I just say true to life? Hold on. <laughs> All right. True to size, you guys. These are true to size because when I first got these, they were quite not stiff they were soft but they were snug on my feet and i do have well i wear a medium shoe but i would say that my foot is on the wide side so when i tried these on my heel literally it didn't hang off but it was right at the edge but if you notice the picture on the website it's that way as well but i bought these blindly without ever trying them on and i was really confused <laughs> and I wasn't sure if I wanted to send them back and a lot of you said keep them they're perfect and I really felt like they were gonna stretch out and they really have so I just wanted to say that these are perfect they're not true to life but they are true to size and I'm super excited that I have these you guys oh my gosh I am always looking for them. There are other colors in my future. I'm just going to tell you guys that I'm really tempted. As a matter of fact, last night I thought I'm going to get those turquoise ones. Like now that I have this basic color, I certainly need the white ones, but I'm going to wait. I would love to have a pop of color, but the main thing is I wanted to tell you guys they are true to size. They do um, stretch out very quickly because I've actually wore, no, I wore the black pair more, but the black pair, and I told you guys this too, they felt like they were a little bigger anyway, but these are perfect. They're both perfect, and I couldn't be happier with this purchase, so I did want to do a little update on my Oran sandals because I would not size up. I would just go with your regular size, and in my opinion, they are true to size. Okay just get off the shoes let's go over this beauty I'm obsessed I'm obsessed now I have not yet she's still borrowing the bag charm off of my Alma BB but I'll find the perfect bag charm for her the next time I go into the boutique I hope but you guys I am obsessed and I have yet to order and organize for her nope I think maybe I have ordered, oh my gosh, you guys, I order so much stuff I can't remember. I think I have. I actually think I have. Okay. So I carried her for like a week and in the past I had a Speedy 35 and I sold it to one of my subscribers and it was a beautiful bag, Ebean. But I don't know. It was just, I just don't love the sag. Some people love the sag, right? other than saggy balls. That's the only sag that I love. But this bag is so cute. So cute. I'm obsessed. And now I must have the Speedy 25 in the monogram. I feel an urgency, you guys, to amp up my collection with more monogram more azure and more ebene so i put a few pieces here for you guys to look at i really don't have that much left because most of the bags that i've sold in the last couple of years were actually ebene and monogram i do have a neverfull gm in the monogram and i do have a neverfull mm in the ebene but in a couple weeks i'm going to be doing my entire handbag collection so you guys will see my collection has changed and evolved quite a bit since I first started my channel but you guys this little bag is a beast this little bag pops a punch this little bag 
I mean, I'm pretty sure I could put my entire head in this little bag. I really do. I think that this little bag, and one thing that always concerned me about this Speedy 25, let me pull out some stuffing, but one of the things that always concerned me about the Speedy 25 is that so many YouTubers that do reviews on this bag say, well, you know, the opening isn't very big. Well, my gosh, I mean, how much of an opening do you need, right? <laughs> I have no problems putting my hand in there. I don't think I could fit it on my head. No, it's not going to go. I've got a bit of a big head, but I mean, you don't, it, it's, there's plenty of room to put your hands in this bag, you guys. And like I said, she's a beast. I'm just going to show you the bag that I've been carrying this week. And it is my Fendi Cruise backpack. So I haven't carried her all summer. I haven't carried her probably since last fall. So I've carried this bag all week. It's been rainy here in Alabama. What else is new? But you guys, is this not a fabulous bag? This bag is indestructible. So I got this bag in Mykonos and I absolutely love it. So I have quite a few things in here, but I'm telling you, you cannot fill this little girl up. I mean, she's like my little granddaughter. You can just keep feeding her and feeding her and she still keeps eating, but she's still tiny. <laughs> so let me show you what will fit in this bag. A lot more will fit in this bag than I have in this bag that I'm carrying, but I'm telling you, Unless you have some huge hands, you guys, I see no issue with this. I don't know why so many YouTubers say the opening is really small. It's not. It's, it's a nice roomy opening. As a matter of fact, you guys, I'm pretty sure I need every color in the classics, not any of the other craziness that Louis Vuitton has put out. It's insane. It's, it's insane, you guys. Mm. Not a fan, not a fan. I mean, some of it's okay, but I just don't want them, you know? I'm wanting more classic pieces. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to pop these items in here. There is no base shaper. There is no organizer as of yet. So in my bag, I have my medium Kiragami, and I have a lady product, a mask, and some tissues. That's all I have in there right now. It's a really good keep all. So I'm thrilled that I got this carry on. I'm <laughs> I am absolutely thrilled that I have the Kiragamis. Okay, so a keep all. I'll probably put my mask actually in a baggie and then inside of that. Okay, so I recently sold my six ring key holder and I picked this up. I'd had the six ring key holder for several years, you guys. I just got tired of it. Opening it, closing it, opening and closing it. I mean, I, I liked it and I really enjoyed it while I had it. So I just wanted something less fussy and I just really love this. So it's Coach and it's the horse and carriage, and if I find one or one similar, I will link it in the description box. So this is a great key holder. Okay, so I'll just throw that in there. There are no compartments right now, so everything's just getting tossed in there. All right, so here are my Betsy Johnson reading glasses. And the best hand cream, I'm obsessed, Spongel. And this is Honey Blossom, you guys. I will link the website below. This is the best hand cream ever and they would make great Christmas gifts. So yeah, so I have this. All right, so I have my toiletry 15. This was the last one that I acquired. So this is my toiletry 15 and it has makeup in it, so I use it as my makeup case. I have my little Chanel mirror. This is what I'm gonna give away for my 5,000 subscriber, you guys. A Dior red lipstick. I have 
a handful of peppermints. Oops. <laughs> I need to slow down. I've got a Louis Vuitton perfume sample. I've got a handful of cough drops, nail clippers, gas X, more gas X, and more mints. Okay. So this is my makeup bag, you guys. I don't really, like today I have no makeup at all except lip gloss. And normally I just, I might freshen up my, I freshen up my lips, that's about it. I don't, I wear way less makeup than I used to. If you watch some of my newer videos, <sighs> girl looked like a clown. Your girl looked like a clown. I mean, I do like to amp it up if I'm going out, but I have really decided that I feel like less is more when it comes to makeup on me. I feel like the older I get, the less makeup that I need, that might be the I might be thinking backwards, but I think really what it has to do with is microneedling. Actually, way overdue for microneedling. So anyway, but that's my makeup bag. That's all that's in there. Okay, oh, my Stodd pill case with my headache medicine, Benadryl, and some vitamins. Okay. I have my Lysol to go disinfecting wipes. You just peel it open. So I always keep these in my purse and I always buy these for my mom. Throw that in there. It's a big mess in there. So I have a soft Louis Vuitton case, but inside the soft Louis Vuitton case is my Celine Sunnies. Bam! I love these, you guys. These are the Taurus. I'm seriously thinking of getting another pair in the black. Keith picked these out. He loves tortoise on me, but I think I would really like the black ones. So I have my sunnies. I always keep them in the soft case. All right, and my wallet is my little Chanel wallet with the attached wristlet chain, you guys. I adore this little piece. Love it so much. I finally, you know, pulled the trigger and got myself a little Chanel wallet. It's black, it's great, and the bonus is the little wristlet and many times I just go into a store just like this so this is the best little thing ever and let me show you the inside you just open it up I've got some cash in the back I've got coins in the middle and I've got my driver's license two credit cards in the front and I could easily put so much more into this little Chanel wallet Oh my gosh, here's the little tiny baby bear. My tiny baby bear, Kirigami. I love it, I love it so much. So it has my insurance cards in it, my car insurance cards, my medical cards, and then my, my art by Panayota, my business cards. Because, I told you guys, People always ask me for cards. I never have them on me. I feel like it makes me look really unprofessional. So, thanks to Little Baby Bear, I always have them with me. And bam. And yeah, that's all I had in my bag. But, and it is just all tossed in there like that. I kind of dig that, you guys. I kind of dig that chaotic mess in my little bag. It's chaotic, but it's, it's fabulous. <laughs> this fabulous chaotic mess in this little speedy. So anyway, I could put so much more in this bag. Look at it. You don't need an organizer for it. You really don't. So I may or may not use it. I may just get a base shaper just to keep the bottom of it clean. I don't know. We'll see. But I love it. I'm so obsessed. Oh, this is one of my favorite bags. And I just, it reminds me of the good old days when Louis Vuitton was Louis Vuitton. Like, I don't know who they are anymore. I don't recognize Louis Vuitton. Those new bags and the new collections, oh, that's not what this video is about. This right here is a beautiful Louis Vuitton bag. I'm so happy that I have her. She carries a ton. I can easily put my hands inside of her. And, 
you guys. Look at her. You guys, look at her. Bam. She's beautiful. She's everything I've ever wanted in a bag. Oh. So yeah, you guys, loving it. I treated the leather with the rain guard. The, um, why am I filming a video after eight o'clock at night? I cannot get my words out. The apple guard. I did, I treated her with apple guard. And I'll retreat her again, maybe next year. But I'm not gonna baby her, I'm just gonna use her and just enjoy her so much, you guys. And I don't know, you know, I'm not saying they're gonna discontinue the monogram, but there is something weird going on with Louis Vuitton, really. I can't wait because actually, I'm going to be going to the boutique in about three weeks. We're going to Atlanta for the weekend. So I'm going to Louis Vuitton and I feel very confident that there will be very few monogram pieces to choose from. Sad but true, you guys. Sad but true. Okay, so I guess, I guess now that I have all my stuff in this bag, I'm going to carry her again. Actually, we're going to the beach, as I said, Thursday. I think I'm gonna carry her with me. That's really all I had for this video, you guys. Now, Saturday, I've got a reveal. Not a true unboxing, but a super cool reveal because you know how I am. Sometimes, I just can't wait for you guys. But before I let you go, I'm gonna show you this gorgeous bag that I have for sale. I had put her on Instagram. This is the small Kira bag in the gold metallic. She has the adjustable shoulder strap. I've never carried her one time. I don't know what I paid for her. I really don't remember if I paid full price. I probably got her on sale because most of the time, occasionally I'll pay full price for Tory Burch or Coach, but most of the time I do get my Coach and Tory Burch on sale. And the retail I think was $5.98. So I had put it on Instagram for $2.50. So if anybody wants to purchase this beautiful brand new bag, let's give her a spin, Autumn Beckman style, from me, just let me know. I accept PayPal, but I have her stuff. She has the leather here, the inside the cloth. She has one, two, three compartments and several zippers. This is a gorgeous bag and I don't know why. I even bought some gold shoes to go with her. I really don't know why I never used her. I think she would be good for an everyday bag. And she's so versatile, you can take this off. Just the top handle. And I love the chain that goes on it. It's just a beautiful bag, you guys. So if, any, if anybody wants it, just let me know. I'm asking 250, but if you make me an offer that I can't refuse, I won't refuse it. So I will take less. If you give me a good offer and you really want this beautiful Kira bag, beautiful golden Kira bag, just let me know. Just either email me or message me through Instagram. All right, so I will be vlogging our trip. We're going to Panama City to see Keith's mom. We'll probably do some shopping and eating, of course, and probably spend one last day on the beach this summer before summer is over. Now, next week, Winnie and I, and I think Autumn is going to join in. I'm not really sure, but we have invited her, you guys. Whenever Winnie and I do a collaboration and we don't invite Autumn, Autumn. She gets really upset, you guys. So I did invite her to do the collab. So we'll see if she joins in. But it's going to be a really good collaboration next week. And Saturday I have a special reveal, as I stated before. So yeah, you guys, leaving Thursday. We'll be back Sunday night. And I'm bringing you guys along again on yet another adventure. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Bye-bye. Peace.